basically three types of fingerprints. There's latent fingerprints, patent fingerprints, and negative or plastic prints. Um, latent fingerprints are prints that are not visible to the naked eye. Patent prints are prints that are visible to the naked eye. And negative prints are, um, for example, if you were to stick your finger into uh, something soft like wax or clay, the ridges would then create little furrows in the, in the clay. So right now we're going to talk about uh, how to enhance latent prints by dusting. Now there's a whole bunch of different kinds of fingerprint dust. Um, we have just regular black, white, and then we have special powders like dual, uh, fluorescent powders, and magnetic powders. So first we'll start off with black powder. What you want to remember when you're uh, dusting for fingerprints is contrast. Whatever your background is, you want to make sure that you pick a powder that is going to give a good contrast against your background. So here we have a white background, so I'm going to start with black dust. Now, the dust comes in big jars like this, but you never want to stick your brush into the large jar. You want to make sure you have your own little, little reservoir of dust. So the first thing that you always want to do is clean off your brush. So all you do is twirl it between your fingers like this to remove any excess dust. And then you're just going to dip it lightly into your dust. Shake off the excess again, and then you can start dusting. Um, I like to have a magnifying glass handy when I do this, just so you're uh, sure that you don't over dust your prints. So when you dust, you're going to want to do a twirling sort of motion over the area. And as you can see, the prints are starting to come up, so to be sure that I'm not over dusting it, I'm just gonna check it out with a magnifying glass. No? Okay. Um, and it looks like I don't quite have enough dust on these, so I'm going to keep dusting. And these appear to have enough dust on them. Okay, so now, uh, for example, if we have a dark background, we're gonna wanna do something with a light colored powder, white for example. There you go. Okay, so now we have a special powder called Dual. And uh, Dual is a powder that will work well on both light and dark backgrounds. On a light background, it'll look black, and on a dark background, it'll come up silver. See here on the light background, it looks a lot like just regular black powder. here on the black background, it looks almost shimmery silver. Okay, now we will move on to fluorescent powder. There's a lot of different kinds of fluorescent powder. I'm going to demonstrate with green. There's also uh, orange, pink, uh, and red, I believe. We'll go check out the ALS. I have a demo that I did on the cover of a magazine so we can see what that looks like with some fluorescent light. Okay, so here's the front of the magazine that I dusted. Um, I put some prints right in this area here. And now if we shut off the lights. Add some light. You can see they're a lot more clear on this background. And you can scroll through the different settings on the ALS to try to find a, a good contrast.
Okay, and finally we're gonna move on to the magnetic powder. Magnetic powder comes in all different kinds of colors, but I'm gonna use black right now. Um, magnetic powder has its own special brush. It looks like this. And when you dip the brush into the powder, you can see it kind of hangs on like that. Now to remove that powder, you're gonna pull up on this. That releases the magnet and all the powder will come off. So now we will dust. Now magnetic powder is cool because the brush never touches the prints, so you don't have to worry about it distorting them at all. And it's also really easy to clean up after this. See? And that's that.